My mom was always good at pretending to be a normal person. She owned a hot dog stand and always had that fake smile on her face. But I knew who she really was. When she came home from work, she'd close all the curtains and make me pray for hours on our hard wooden floor. It was so painful and my knees would get really sore, but my mom didn't care. She said it was the only way of keeping bad spirits and demons away. As I grew older, I realized my mom was crazy. And at age 14, I finally got up enough courage to tell her I didn't want to pray anymore. I said I was sick of having bruised knees, and I even told her that spirits and ghosts don't actually exist. But I shouldn't have said that because suddenly my mom looked at me like I was some kind of stranger. She got one of those huge crystals that she kept for protection and held it up to her eye to look at me through it. This is bad, she said. You're full of evil energy. We must pray. I'd heard enough. I went to my room and locked the door. My mom could be really scary, but what choice did I have anyway? I was too young to leave home and nobody would care if I told them my mom believed in ghosts. So I knew I was trapped, but I never expected what happened next. That same night, I was woken up by the sound of someone trying to open my door. I thought it might be an intruder, so I asked, Mom, is that you? She replied, Yes, sweetie, it's me. Please, open the door. I'm worried about you. I didn't want to let her in, but she was my mom, and that's why I opened the door for her. But then she immediately flew at me, screaming, You're the devil! Leave my daughter, foul beast! She was waving a large crucifix around, and I saw that she had sharpened the bottom to a point. Was she trying to stab me? I've never been so scared in my life. But then I picked up my blanket and threw it over my mom so I had enough time to escape and run outside. Luckily, I ran into a jogger on the street who called the police for me. Shortly after, my mom got arrested. She told them I was possessed and she was only trying to save my soul by doing an exorcism to chase the devil out of me. Wow, how kind of her. Unfortunately for my mom, the judge saw things differently. He ordered a psychiatric assessment for her, and now she's in a psychiatric ward until she's cured. But I don't think that will ever happen. Just recently, she attacked one of the guards because she thought he was a demon, and now she has to spend most of her time locked up in her room. It's sad because she only gets one hour a day to walk outside, and when they do let her out, she's heavily sedated. Recently, I went to see her for the first time, my heart was pounding like crazy, but all she could say was, Is it you? Is it really you and not the devil? It was so sad to see her like that. She looked so old, like she'd just been through hell. I couldn't cope. I burst into tears and left. Luckily, my Aunt Becky was waiting for me outside, because after my mom got locked away, my aunt legally adopted me, and it's fair to say that she is the parent I've always dreamed of. Recently, she asked me what I wanted to do with my life, and I told her I wanted to produce horror movies someday. If my mom had heard that, she would have punished me severely. But my aunt is different, and that's why she instead bought me a camera so I could start working on my first amateur horror movie. It's a bit like paranormal activity, just lower quality. So I know I've got to learn a lot, but with my aunt's help, I'm sure I'll get there. <laughs>